my dear students of 12th class and today in your botany we are going to further move ahead in the Mendel's experiment previously we have discussed the mono hybrid cross and the punnett square of representing a typical mono hybrid cross and today we will carry out we will take over this mono hybrid cross further ahead so that we can easily be able to understand what Mandela revealed in his laws known as the Mendel's laws of inheritance. And now, as we have previously seen that the Punnett square reveals that one fourth of the random fertilizations lead to capital T, capital T, that is homozygous tall, one half lead to hybrid tall, that is capital T, small t, and one fourth to dwarf, this uh, homozygous dwarf, small t, small t, represented by small t, small t. And the phenotype in the Fn is seen to be tall, as all the of springs produced in the F1 are tall, but the genotype is heterozygous, kept represented by capital T small t. At F2, three fourths of the plants are tall, where some of them are capital T capital T that is homozygous tall, while others are heterozygous but tall. Externally, it is not possible to distinguish between the plants with uh, the genotypes capital T, capital T and capital T, small t, because within the genotypic pair, capital T, small t, only one character, that is capital T, tall is expressed as you must be knowing that this is because of the dominance of one of the alleles in an allelic pair that controls a particular character hence the character capital T or tall is dominant over the allele small t or the dwarf character that is why F2, all the F1 plants are tall and in F2 generation we have the phenotypic ratio of 3 is to 1 that is 3 tall plants against the 1 dwarf plant. In F2, 3 fourths of the plants are tall but genotypically half are heterozygotes that is capital T small t and only one fourth are capital T, capital T, that is pure tall. Again, I may repeat this. In F2, three fourths of the plants are tall, and three out of four plants are tall, and genotypically half are heterozygous, that is capital T, small t, and only one fourth are pure tall, represented by capital T, capital T. And therefore, the phenotypic ratio of three fourth tall is one, one by four, and capital T capital T plus one half of capital T small t and one fourth small t small t that out of out of four plants three are tall phenotypically with one fourth pure tall one half hybrid tall and one fourth are one of one fourth are the pure dwarf that is three is to one ratio but genotypic ratio will be one is to two is to one one for pure tall two for hybrid tall and one for pure dwarf hope you understand this the one fourth is to one half is to one fourth ratio of tt capital t capital t capital t small t and small t small t is mathematically condensable that is the reason why Mendel was Mendel's this thesis was uh, this was rejected because he put on the mathematical logic to the biologic in the biological problems but 
nowadays it is considered to be and it it was later on seen to be true and it is applicable here so you can easily have the application of this to fall on in the in mathematically condensable um, ratio of uh, 1 is to 2 is to 1 if a binomial expression is formed like ax plus by whole square um, that has the gametes bearing genes capital T or small t in equal frequency of one half when expanded it is half of capital T plus half of small t whole square when expanded it becomes equal to one by fourth capital T capital T one half capital T small t and one fourth of small t small t that means it is mathematically condensable and now Mendel self pollinated the F2 plants and found that dwarf F2 plants continue to generate dwarf plants in F3 and F4 generations. Mendel concluded from this that the genotype of the dwarfs was homozygous small t small t. That is the reason why when they were put on the selfing they produced homozygous small dwarf plants. And now, test cross. Uh, within wh whether a tall plant from F1 or F2 has a capital T, capital T, or capital T that is homozygous or heterozygous composition can't be predicted. It cannot be. We can't predict it. Phenotypically, it is tall, and we can't predict the genotype of that particular plant. Therefore, to determine the genotype of a tall plant, genotype of a top tall plant at F2, Mendel crosses the tall plant from F2 with a the, with the dwarf plant, this Mendel called a test cross in order to determine the genotype of an unknown um, plant whose phenotype is known but genotypically that is not known what type of, uh, what is the genotype of that particular plant and he performed with a test cross. In a test cross, a pea plant showing a dominant phenotype whose genotype is unknown is crossed with the recessive parent in a state of self-crossing. The progenies of such a cross can easily be analyzed to predict the genotype of the test organism. In a typical test cross where violet color flower represented by capital W is dominant over white flower represented by small w or lowercase using punet care nature of the offsprings of the test cross can be predicted like this which the punet care here you can see that in the center lies the dominant phenotype whose genotype is unknown we have to know the genotype of this particular plant and now what we do it is crossed with a with a dominant it is crossed with our hybridized rather with a homozygous recessive and again with homozygous recessive and, and we can predict the offsprings like this in from one side on the left hand side of your screen you can see that all the all the these flowers are they are of violet color well, on the right hand side you can see that half of the flowers there is two out of four are of violet color and two are of white color and thus it can be predicted that from the right hand side it uh, from the right hand side if the genotype of this unknown flower is uh, heterozygous heterozygous it will produce half, uh, half of the progeny will be of violet and half of white color and if it is if it is uh, homozygous uh, dominant violet then all the pro all the um, plants in the progeny will be, will be of uh, will, be, will be of uh, will have violet colored flowers all the flowers are violet as you can see 
on the left hand side of your screen and thus we can we can know the uh, genotype of the unknown flower whose phenotype is known but genotype can be can be determined by using this test cross as performed by Mendel. Oh, thanks, have a nice day.